question being was uh, how, how to set one of these international with an igniter on it, how, how to set it up to run on. That's three coats out there, rust oleum right there. That dark color green, that's three, that's three real heavy coats right there. You know what I mean? That engine ain't wanting for no paint for sure. We get her out there on the showgrounds, we'll, uh, we'll shine her up a little bit, you know. But carrying on with this, uh, with this timing. Uh, I, I, I show you how to do that. To answer a comment. Let's call this right here the the make the make and break ignition episode. We'll use these jumper oils right here. It'll be all right. But the, to tell it to you the best as I can is well. We got two six volt batteries right there. <clears throat> two six volt batteries that are connected together to produce 12 volts. I checked it and it's like 12.94. So this is a low tension coil that a Lone Oak was the name of the company that made that years ago. They very good. I think it. I think the resistance is about eleven something, eleven three maybe, on ohms, but it's very good. It runs on really, really low voltage. On twelve volt, it really runs good. But make and break ignition, igniter fired M's. This is a three horsepower igniter with no magneta blocked off gone, with no ever intentions of running one, but the way it's blocked off, if if a person in the future wanted to put a, a you could use a L mag or even an R mag on there, and you just take that cover off, bolt it right on there, and you're good to go. But there is some, there is some romance into a battery and coil ignition system. Put it in a nice box, it's a, just another accessory. But, what happens, okay, it's getting ready to come up on to ignition, up on compression. So when it comes around on compression, okay, that's where the engine fired. And right down here is where the little notch is, exactly right there it is. And if you look on the block in there, it's perfectly timed, this, this engine particularly is. For this to snap, when this is in this position, you adjust that. There's some shims behind, on the igniter you can adjust. <clears throat> uh, the thread goes in or out to make it trip sooner or later. Works on a cam in there. Comes around. Okay, to show you this hookup, an exhaust timing is completely, totally different, unrelated in such a remote way from ignition is you don't combine the two even. So working with the ignition <clears throat> to make this engine run on this battery and coil and how a make and break ignition, low tension ignition, and, and that just sits in that groove and it's got a slain on it right there. That loop up like that. I'm not going to start the engine right now. Uh, well, let's, get, let's do this. <clears throat> but to explain this, is on one of your battery posts, put that alligator clip over there on it. 
and then come over to the low tension coil and put that alligator clip on either one of those, it don't matter. And then you get the other one and put on the other side of that coil. And then you go to the that that's the stationary electrode on the igniter. And the other one comes from the ground on the battery to the ground. I, I've got too many cables. Don't let me confuse you. That's one, two, three cables. The other one from that ground there it goes to a ground on the engine. We'll just go right there. Okay, that's the war and that's the way you do it. So to show, to be able to see that, to confirm something's actually happening without running the engine, uh, we'll go with this little LED thing. And what you do, you hook this thing up over here on this, and then you hook this somewhere over here on the ground. Okay, let's go, okay. let's go around again and observe that green light, LED. It's coming from the stationary electrode on igniter over to a ground. Okay, when this when when I'm coming around and and it's on the next stroke and it's coming forward, it's going to make those two igniter points touch each other. They're not touching yet. On on this, well, I'll explain that to you. But let's come on around on the direction of the engine runs. And did you see the light go off? Okay, when you come on around. See what fired? Okay, the points are open and open now, so some of the current is bleeding off through this ground over here because there's no contact on the other end. This is the light. So when when the two points closes, the current can flow there with less resistance than the bulb is, so the bulb goes out. But that's make and break. When that light comes on, it's making, and then when it goes off, it's breaking. Make and break ignition. And now, you can adjust your engine igniters to the point where the stationary and the movable part, this part here, are, are, are together, touching each other. And uh, some, some engines that has a magnet on it would be adjusted to that. But the benefit of setting it up with your contacts open is uh, battery drain, uh, the life of the battery. But, you know, just quickly, one more from the positive post on the battery, e either positive or ground, don't matter, to either post on the low tension coil from the other side and here, I just a little bit ago had hooked up to that one. I actually can put it over here and then hook this one with the remaining ground. I'd hook it here. It, it, it does the same thing to do that. Um, and, <clears throat> and these LEDs are, I forgot how I had it hooked up a minute ago, but... Uh, we'll, we'll do it again. It's on. So, see it went off? Closed. Uh, maybe you didn't see it. Yeah. 
engine fired. <laughs> Got yeah. So come all around. Make break. Making and breaking ignition. Low tension. And we get the paint dry on that cart there, and we'll get this one down on the ground. Start her up.